Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Dupuytren's contracture. A Dupuytren's contracture is a common condition involving contraction of the longitudinal palmar fascia, typically starting as painless nodules. Fibrous cords and flexion contractures develop at the MCP and interphalangeal joints, which can severely limiting digital movement and reduce patient quality of life. The condition is around six times more common in men, with peak onset aged 40 to 60 years. It most commonly affects the ulnar digits. For pathophysiology, the condition involves a fibroplastic hyperplasia and altered collagen matrix of the palmar fascia. This compositional change leads to a thickening and contraction of the palmar fascia. The disease progresses in a predictable pattern, although the rate is variable. First, initial pitting and thickening of the palmar skin and underlying subcutaneous tissue. With loss of mobility of overlying skin. Second, a firm painless nodule begins to form, becoming fixed to the skin and the deeper fascia, gradually increasing inside. Next, a cord then develops, resembling a tendon, which begins to contract over months to years. Lastly, contraction of the cord pulls on the MCP and PIP joints, leading to progressive flexion deformity in the fingers. For risk factors, main risk factors for the condition include smoking, alcoholic liver cirrhosis, diabetes mellitus, and certain occupational exposures. For clinical features, symptoms may range from reduced range of motion and nodular deformity, through to a complete loss of movement. The ring and little finger are most commonly involved. However, the other digits may be involved. On examination, a thickened band or firm nodule adherent to the skin may be palpable. Skin blanching may occur on active extension of the affected digits. In advanced disease, the MCP and PIP joints of the affected digit may be in contracture. Houston's test is a specific test that can be performed for such patients. If the patient is unable to lay their palm flat on a tabletop, this is a positive test. For investigations, diagnosis is clinical. However, patients should ideally have routine bloods, including liver function test and random glucose or HbA1c, to assess for potential associated risk factors. For management, conservative management includes hand therapy by doing stretching exercises. Injectable collagenase clostridium histolyticum is used by some clinicians in early disease. Surgical management is indicated in those with functional impairment. MCP joint contracture greater than 30 degrees. Any PIP contracture or rapidly progressive disease. Surgery done is fasciectomy, where there are a few types listed here. That's all for this video. Thank you.